Do you know that 85% of people give up on their New Year's resolutions by the end of January? 85%. Stay tuned and you'll discover what to do to create real results in 2024 and beyond. Welcome to Biz Success in 15. I'm your host, Cindy J, the Visibility Wiz, and I'm here to guide you as you step into who you are with outrageous confidence. Be sure to get your nine step checklist for more visibility, influence, and profits at visibilitychecklist.com. Today, we're going to be speaking about how to get the results you desire. Years ago, when I was about 12 years old, my nephew went with us on vacation. He was about three at the time. A couple times a year, we would travel from California, Los Angeles area, to New Mexico to visit my dad's relatives. So within an hour of getting in the car, Marty starts going, are we in New Mexico yet? Are we in New Mexico yet? And me and my mom and dad, we sort of chuckled and go, no, Marty, we're not in New Mexico yet. So it was a very long drive all through California. About every 30 minutes, Marty would go, are we in New Mexico yet? And we'd go, no, honey, not yet. All the way through Arizona, which is a very long state. Marty's going, are we in New Mexico yet? We're like, no, honey, we're not in New Mexico yet. So when we crossed to the state border from Arizona into New Mexico, we tell Marty, we're in New Mexico now. He looks at us and goes, no, we're not. And we sort of chuckled. We're like, yes, we are. No, we're not. And we gave up trying to convince him that we were in New Mexico. When we pulled up to my aunt's farm, he jumped out of the car and started screaming, yay, we're in New Mexico now. Yay, we're in New Mexico now. And we laughed at him. But interestingly, I find so many people, whenever we set goals, they're not clear. We're like, our goal is New Mexico. We don't have the map to get there. And I always say, whenever you set a goal, you want it to be so clear that a five-year-old would understand it. Now, Marty did not understand the difference of the states. To him, New Mexico was my aunt's house. That was our final destination. So when you are thinking of your goals, ask yourself, what is your final destination? Where is it that you want to go? And how clear on you, are you on what to do to get those results? For instance, in Marty's mind, Aunt Ellen's house was the destination. Aunt Ellen's house was New Mexico, even though in my mind and my parents' minds, whenever we crossed the state border, we were there. And a lot of people, whenever they set New Year's resolutions, they have this big goal. Okay, we're going to go to Aunt Ellen's house. We're going to lose, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. I'm going to have a six-figure business this year. I'm going to launch and create a product. I'm going to host a summit. I'm going to have an event. Whatever your goals are, you have this final destination in your mind, which is like Aunt Ellen's house. You're not even going for the state. You're going for the actual destination, Aunt Ellen's house. So what do you do to make sure that you are going to get to your destination? Well, my father, he had traveled that many times and he would always take different highways he knew all the highways to take and depending upon what he would feel like he would take different routes but he knew all of the routes that he would take would take him to aunt ellen's house if he had no idea where he was going he would have pulled out a map and the map would have given him step-by-step -step instructions to get to aunt ellen's house just like whenever you hook up your uh Google Maps in your car to get somewhere. They don't, you know, you're tell, they tell you, you tell them the final destination, but they don't tell you all the steps. They tell you the first step to take. Drive up to Rosser and make a right. Okay, that's what they do. Go to the 10 
and head north. Whatever it is, that's what they tell you to do. And when if we have the final destination, a lot of times we don't think about the map. What do we need to get there? So first of all, you need to be very, very clear on what your final destination it is. But to get the results that you want, you need to know the steps to get there. Or at least you need to have a basic understanding of the first steps to get there. If you want to lose 30 pounds, how can you lose 30 pounds? You you can exercise more. You can watch your weight. You can become a vegan. Vegan. You can do intermediate fasting. There's all different types of things you can do to lose weight. And the same is true for your business. There's all kinds of things you can do to build your business, to uh, create your business. But what so many people do is they're like, okay, to make $100,000 in a year, I need 20 clients at $5,000. And that's a good first step. But they don't go any further. And to get further, you need to set daily intentions or weekly intentions of how to get where you want to go. An intention is a guided action that leads to the destination. With a resolution, we typically state what we want. It's just the end goal. It's the destination. It's Aunt Ellen's house. And we don't put a lot of thought into what actions we need to take to get us there. But when we set an intention, we know our why. And we have a plan of action to get our desired goal. So what are your daily intentions to get there? So the difference between goals that get results and those that don't fall into the intentions. It's, it's what you need to do to get to that end result. What I find so many people do when they set their goals, they set goals that are beyond their control. I'm going to have 20 clients at $5,000 this year. Now that sounds great, but is that in your control? Maybe, maybe not. You really have no control over how many people uh, are going to hire you at a certain amount. What is it that you do have control over? You have control over how many people you invite to work with you for $5,000. So if you know that one person out of 10 will say yes to your $5,000 offer, then you want 20 new clients at $5,000, then you need to be having conversations with about 20 people per month to yield your two new clients. If you know that you can, that two people out of every 10 are going to hire you, then you can have 10 calls every month Okay, so what do you need to do to have those 10 calls? You need to be asking people to a call. So everybody that you invite to a call is not going to automatically go, yes. So how many people now do you have to invite to the call to get the people to say yes? If you ask five people every single day to have a strategy session with you, you're going to start building up momentum and you're going to start getting those strategy calls. And now it goes into your law of averages of one or two out of 10 that say yes. Now, this is a clear intent path to get to your $100,000 to have 20 clients at 5,000. But just saying, hey, I'm going to earn 20,000 and not knowing what it's going to take, not knowing what you need to do every single day to get you there. Is a path to failure. In order to succeed, we need to have that intention. We need to have the daily intention of what we're going to do. And then we have the compounded effect of our daily actions. If you've never read The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, I strongly recommend that you go get the book. It's really a fascinating book. But it's all these little things. You might think, oh, I can ask five people every day to have a strategy session. But to do that, you know, it might take you 30 minutes a day to do that. But whenever you start doing it consistently, you're going to start seeing more results. 
If you do it once a week, you're going to see less results. It's the consistency of your actions that's going to get you the results that you want. So in a minute, I'm going to show you how to structure your goals that's going to create the consistent results. But first, your 15-minute challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to jot down two to five daily habits, daily intentions that you want to cultivate that's 100% within your control and that leads to your goals. Again, they need to be in your control. You can't say, I'm going to have one strategy session a week, but you can say, I'm going to ask five people a day to have a strategy session. You can say, I'm going to reach out to five people every day uh, that I could collaborate with. You could say, I am going to do a Facebook Live every day and invite people to a strategy session from that. You see, there's things that are within your control because you can do those things but you can't control the actual outcomes. They could get you really close to your desired goal or they could just totally skyrocket and get you double or triple your goal. Wouldn't that be amazing? So how to set uh, your goals is to get consistent results. I really believe in the power of three. So for 2024, set three big goals and only three. Okay, these are big goals. This is, I want to earn 100,000. I want to earn 200,000. I want to uh, add 5,000 people on my list. Whatever it is, I want to uh, create a podcast. I want to start a podcast. Whatever your goal is, there are three big goals. Now, you're going to take each of these goals and each of these goals now become um, a smaller action step for each month. So every month you have three big goals and these three big goals are going to lead to your yearly goal. Each week you have three big goals that are going to lead to your yearly goal or your monthly goal that's going to yield you to your yearly goal. And every day choose only three things. And that's so hard for people that have these really, really, really long to-do lists. But every single day, just set three intentions, three goals that you're going to accomplish. If you do more, great. But again, that consistent daily action of doing something three times, of doing three goals a day is going to yield you results. It's going to end your overwhelm and, and like, oh my God, I have so much to do because you only need to do three things every day. By doing three things every day, five days a week, You've done 15 things now that are going that are helping you reach your three your three main weekly goals. And then from there, whenever you do it for four weeks, now you've met your monthly goal. And this is how you sort of start with your big goal and you work backwards to what needs to be accomplished every month, what needs to be accomplished every week, or what needs to be accomplished every day. And whenever you do that, then you're setting yourself up for success. These are your intentions. I intend to call five people every day and see if they want to have a strategy session. I intend to reach out to five people every day to, excuse me, to collaborate with. I intend, you know, to whatever it is. Now, know that the uni in the universe, there is an immeasurable, indescribable force, which shamans call intent. And absolutely Everything that exists in the entire cosmos is attached to intent by a connecting link. So start setting your daily intentions, your weekly intentions, your monthly intentions, and watch your goals come to life, probably bigger than what you're even dreaming of. So be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Biz Success in 15. And I'll be sharing seven a seven-step blueprint for you to get results. And be sure to hop on over to visibilitychecklist.com and get your nine-step visibility checklist for more visibility, influence, and profits. Have a great week and happy new year. Bye-bye.